My name is John Whitbeck. And after two years of our party getting pushed around by the Democrats and the media, we stand at the threshold to take a Republican majority for the state Senate of Virginia. This campaign tonight is about nominating the best person to beat the Democrat in November. And I am that candidate for two reasons, experience and principles. Yes, sir. Now, ladies and gentlemen, experience is important, but let me start with principles. You know me, you know where I stand. You know I'm staunchly pro-life. You know I'm pro-Second Amendment. You know that I'm a staunch defender of the Constitution. But you also know that I'm someone who will talk about my principles. You know, candidates in primaries who won't talk about their principles are usually the same candidates that forget their principles when they're elected. That won't happen to me because you know where I stand. Now, we know that we're about a lot more than the issues I just laid out. We are the party of small business and deregulation. And this election, we are going to be asked very hard questions by voters, and the business community especially. They're going to want to know what we're going to do to create jobs, grow the economy, and ensure that government is out of their way. And when we are answering those tough questions in this election, we're going to need candidates that have the experience to answer those questions. Ladies and gentlemen, I've operated a small business for most of my adult life. I know what it's like to create jobs. I know what it's like to go through the tough times and come out on top with some, some fairly good success. I know what it's like when, when your individuals that work for you are depending on you to, to, for your business to be successful. When voters ask the tough questions in this election, I'm going to be able to answer those questions based on my experience, the most confident of the candidates in this race. Now, in addition to that, I'm going to answer these tough questions based on principle. Those of you who know me best know that I am aggressively anti-tax. Always have been, always will be. And I'm not afraid to say it, and ladies and gentlemen, I'm the only candidate in this race that will put it in writing. And That's promise right. you that I absolutely will oppose tax increases if I'm elected as your state senator. In addition to that, I am absolutely going to fight for the right to work laws in Virginia. The right to work laws that we have in Virginia are critical to the business community. And we're going to make sure that we fight for those, those principles. And I'm not afraid to say it today or, or going forward in the campaign. We're going to have tough questions from, from families in the 33rd District. These families and these moms and dads are going to want to know what are we going to do to fight for the issues that matter to them? What are we going to do to improve education? What are we going to do to build roads? What are we going to do to bring local control back to our, our, our parents and, and our teachers over our education? And they need, we need somebody in this party to be the nominee that's going to be able to answer those questions based on their experience. My wife Laura's here. Uh, love, her, love her to death. Love her to death. Two other daughters, my, uh, my Madison, who's eight years old, and Sadie, who's three years old. Madison goes to public schools. And I'm one of those dads that likes to go to the lacrosse games and volunteer in their, in their classroom. So when somebody asks me when I'm going door to door on behalf of our party about education and what I'm going to do to fight for education and fight for the family unit and fight for the, the values that Virginia holds dear, I'm going to be able to answer that based on experience. I'm also going to be able to answer it based on principle. I have told you repeatedly in this campaign that I'm going to fight for local control of education, that I'm going to make school choice a priority in this commonwealth, and that I'm going to make sure that parents and teachers, not bureaucrats, in Washington and Richmond control our education system. Yes, sir. It's probably a good idea to nominate somebody who actually knows the 33rd district to be our nominee. And probably a good idea to nominate somebody who actually lives in the 33rd district. Yeah. Yeah. And, and well, the other candidate, candidates in this race on the other side don't live in the 33rd district, but I've been endorsed by every Republican, almost every Republican elected official in the 33rd district because they know that I can win. As the 10th district chairman, in, in 2012, we took the 10th district from Mitt Romney, we took the 10th district from Ken Cuccinelli, and I've knocked on thousands of doors in this, in this district, I know this district. I was a substitute judge hearing cases in this district. I was a president of one of the largest HOAs in this district. I was on the Loudoun County Government Reform Commission reforming the government of Loudoun County. I know what it takes. Folks, the message is clear, the choice is clear. We need to take a 21st vote in the Virginia State Senate. And ladies and gentlemen, I have the experience and the principles 
that it's going to take to win this race and get the message out in the general election. And I'll tell you what, I really like our chances to take a majority of the Virginia State Senate. Yes, Are you sir. with me? Yeah. process I know, but ladies and gentlemen, God bless you, God bless the Republican Party, and God bless our great Commonwealth. Thank you very much.